per hour rate for the different things. And the 1047 was an example of what their anticipated cost would be for one inch of snow. And so this that really doesn't mean anything. So our uh, motion should be for our I make a motion when we approve the rate schedule provided by Johnson Control for snow removal. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve the Johnson Control rates uh, structure and uh, charge them with the responsibility of moving the snow at the uh, bank building. That's just the bank building. Yeah, that was my clarification question on that was that <coughs> the ceiling would adjust the bank building, correct? Because we already have services for the other property. And that includes the sidewalks, parking lots, snow removal. And once again, Larry, this is this is to get it back to where um, one source of contact for all the all the buildings. We, we right. Well, I understand the deal with town control. That wasn't it. I was just trying to save the county a little money by using the people that are setting up there on their butts in jail. I mean, it's free labor. Why not use it? Well, but we, uh, we, I've been there, and I know what it's all about. It turns out it isn't free anymore. Well, sure. that that's that. Long and short of it. Okay. And there, and with Johnson Controls being in charge of the snow removal, uh, it, it should be that we do not have continual accumulation of snow, which ultimately takes many of the parking places over there, creates more problems. Uh, the agreement here is that the snow will be taken away all the way. So again, hopefully this winter we have a better situation. Any uh, comments or questions concerning this? I Hearing none, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Item number eight is to approve the Board of Supervisors appointment of Darren Driscoll and Janice Valentine to the Civil Service Commission for three year terms, effective August 15, 2013, and receive a place on the file county attorney's appointment of Bennett O'Connor to the Civil Service Commission for three year term, effective. August 15, 2013. Mr. Chairman, I move on to me. I'll second. Then move second. We approve the Board of Supervisors appointments of Daryl Driscoll, Jennings, Valentine, and Bennett O'Connor. Questions or comments regarding these appointments? Just, just a comment. Uh, discussion amongst uh, uh, board members regarding things like this is that uh, perhaps in the future um, we could to create more of an open process. Uh, we could uh, Accept nominations for appointments. Uh, in the future, we can accept nominations for appointments on one week, and then the following week we can then vote on those. So that uh, you know, we have time to be aware of uh, who's who's up. And, and, uh, I don't have a problem. I don't have problems. That's due process, I guess. I just have to say that we're appreciative that we have folks that are willing to serve, and especially those that. <clears throat> so absolutely, I mean, anybody ought to have the opportunity to serve if they wish, and we, it's just not necessarily business as usual year after year after year. Well, it wasn't my point. It was my point. It was my point. No, no. no. Uh, uh, point. As, the, well, as we see the appointments, and this is a procedural thing by the margin, but as we see the appointments coming up, there should be ample time to do that. And that's yeah, fair. It's fair work. Anything else along this line? All in favor of motion, say five, saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion carries. Item number nine is to approve an authorized chair to sign temporary construction easement with the city of Fort Dodge on Western County owned property for the first avenue north reconstruction project in the 2014 construction season. Mr. Chairman, I make the motion that we approve an authorized to sign the temporary easement. Before Dodge. Is there a second that motion? I would like to second that. That would be good. It's been moved and second. We approve the authorized chair to sign temporary construction easement on the city of Fort Dodge. Any questions or comments regarding this item? Hearing none, all favor of the motion, say no. Aye. Those opposed, nay. <coughs> number 10 is to receive and place on file semi annual report of treasurer for a period of January 1, 2013 through June 30th, 2013. I'll move by the 10. Second. 
for the second receipt placed on file the Senate annual report from the treasurer. Any questions or comments? Treasurer, none. No questions. All in favor of the motion, say hi. Say hi. Aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion carries. Item number 11 is to approve and authorize chair, the chair to sign a utility permit from Mid American Energy to replace two poles and set one new pole on the north side of 280th Street, west of Johnson Avenue, to provide for clearance over the two recently installed field engine systems. Mr. Chairman, I move item 11. Second. We move second. We approve our first chair to sign utility permit for Mid American Energy. Are there comments or questions about this item? Hearing none, all favor of the motion, say by the same Aye. Aye. Opposed, opposed, nay. Item number 12 is to approve temporary road closure on 330th Street between Baxter and Carter Avenues for a bridge replacement. Mr. Chairman, I move we approve the temporary road closure. Second. We move second that we approve the temporary road closure on 330th Street between Baxter and Carter Avenues. Question or comments? Are they coming on the bridge? Are they going to get it pretty soon on the other bridge? Like all the bridge replacements? Yeah. The PCI is a contractor. They had four. Uh, they're finishing up the third one uh, by Schleifer by tomorrow, and then they'll move one Monday to the fourth one. The one's uh, uh, north between Fort Dodge and Vincent. They say it'd be about September 16th. And it'll take them about a week per site at the maximum.